Hey guys, today I'm going to be working on this little RZT50 um, Cub Cadet Zero Turn Mower. And I had replaced the spindles on this the other day. Did not make a video because I didn't figure too many guys would be interested in watching me work on a mowing deck. But uh, I ran into an issue with these new spindles. And I'm going to take this back off. I corrected it, but I'm going to take this one off and show you real quick what I had to do. Uh, the new spindles, the, the the pulley nut, this nut here that goes up on top, that's a 7-8 socket, by the way, that I used on this. Uh, that would tighten down, but it wouldn't tighten down all the way enough to touch the top of the pulley. So what I had ended up doing was installing this 5-8 uh, flat washer and 5-8 lock washer on there. So it would make contact with the pulley. And what happened was it, it just, uh, since it wasn't holding the pulley down against the shaft, it was only relying on those little uh, teeth in there to hold the pulley. And of course, you know, the first time I mowed the yard, those just stripped out. So I was mowing along and uh, right behind me was a big patch of unmowed grass because, <laughs> uh, because the pulleys were just spinning on the shaft and not turning the blade. So, you know, I brought it back, and it's, it's no big deal, but uh, if you're going to be installing some of these new, and they, these are pretty reasonable, these uh, spindles. Uh, if you're going to be replacing bearings or uh, installing new spindles especially, keep this in mind that you want to go ahead and pull off that top nut uh, that holds your pulley down and add yourself a 5 8 flat washer and a 5 8 lock washer on top of that pulley. And that'll help hold it in place. Now, if, for the metric crowd, that should figure cross over to about a 16 millimeter flat washer and 16 millimeter lock washer. But uh, yeah, that that shaft is not threaded all the way down to the, where the top of the pulley sits. So, you know, you can have that nut torqued to maximum torque, and that pulley can still strip out. So, uh, what this does, that lets the, the the lock washer and the flat washer uh, grab on top and hold that pulley in place so it won't come loose while you're mowing. And uh, you know this is, I didn't think this was going to be this big of a deal just to show you guys but I ended up having to take the belt off. <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished. But uh, that's all I got for today guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time.